So, hello and welcome to, uh, so this is con uh, conclusion video which we have a look at the actual rocks that we found at, uh, this is where we went, the, the, the state park. And I thought it was a national park so I didn't really look at it beforehand so maybe you can collect gold here uh, but I don't really know the laws uh, in that part. But how I got there is went from Digger's Rest, followed this road. That is, what road is that? Digger's Rest, Komadi Road. You go down, and as you go down, oh, sorry, wrong one. You go here to the intersection. So this is, oh, what road? That's Gisborne Road. Okay, and there's a large quarry here. And I'm not too sure what they actually mine, but it might be basalt for road paving. I believe this area is a lot of basalt. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. And you come down here and you have this intersection. So this is a small road, so you can actually uh, go past it quite clearly. But there is a sign saying go into the Loretta Gorge Park. And then you drive up here, and then you go up here, and here is the Loaded Earth River. And a lot of this is private farmland. Uh, so you go here, you've got an intersection, you need to go to Loaded Earth Gorge Park. And if you go this way, it's actually a nice drive up here to the rivers, but we don't want to go there. So you go down here, and... On the geological map, it has tillites here. But as you can see, uh, when we look at the geological map, it says tillite formations, and that is along the river. So we're talking about uh, this section here. You can quite clearly see it's a cliff face. Uh, and it's in private land, so you can't access it unless you ask the owners. But you go up the road, and... Then you got the river here, so you can try and see geological formations. Looks like it's got cliff faces here as well. So you can check that area. Or you can just go up to the car park. So here's the car park. Mackenzie Flat picnic area. And if you walk up here, you can see it's got a bridge. This has been washed away, so you need to go down to here. So this is a private access point to someone's house. So there's the house there. Uh, so you can't really, this is pretty much the fence line. You need to go around to that path. And the path is around the end of the track. You can see this e picture was taken when the river was dry. And then you got another access point. So I actually got this slate. And in my other video, it's still uh, not slate, shale. See, I keep on referring to this as slate. Slate's a metamorphic equivalent of shale. Uh, has a low pressure metamorphism. Uh, but it, this one is actually quite easier to break. Uh, so you can break it off like that. Uh, slate's a little bit harder. And also, with a difference between slate and shale, so you might have a bedding plane uh, going uh, along the river. Uh, a bedding plane, so you can see the beds. Uh, but slate might actually break off in the direction of the compression. So you might actually break off uh, that way, which is a bit different. Uh, but uh, I'll make another video on slate and shale. And this rock I found probably roughly ran this area uh, and the area where they do fly in graptolites is roughly around that area so this is pretty much uh, it could contain graptolites uh, but I don't see any on the surface so we need to break it open and that's what I'm gonna do in a minute and then we have some round cobbles so that was found on the other side of the river around this area so if we 
this uh, has a lot of trees coming outside so that is where the river narrows so that is looks like sandstone you can see a large crystals in it it's rounded so the only way you're going to know is actually break it open so we'll try and do that and then you've got quartz so quartz is found in all the rock types because of the Taberaberian or whatever a rock any I don't even know how to pronounce it uh, so this was pretty much intruded into the rock about 419 to 350 million years ago and most of it's pretty clear so it won't contain that much minerals it's quite white and I'm not too sure if this this coloration is an after effect so that might be the original rock. So maybe this doesn't actually contain any gold deposits. And here I have some more shale. So it's quite flat. You can see the bedding plane pretty much on this one. So you can see the beds in that light. So does it have any graptolites on it? No, I don't see any. Graptolites are pretty unique. Uh, you can find them on the internet so here we have the geological map and you've got lots of different formations so q's quaternary you've got p for permian o for ordovician and we need to go up this map and you can see there's lots of uh deposits where they are looking for or mines and here is the current one so that's sg so we'll have a look and see what that is but the road is down here so I need to so we've got little Gore Road goes through Quinterno River Alluvium and then we go here run then we take the road up to here and this is where the car park is so Quinterno River Alluvium so that's uh Quinterno so pretty recent probably a few thousand years that rock would have been and if we go back down here they have the tillite exposures so tillite is till so glacial till it's formed from deposits from glaciation and this has happened in the permian so this is in the p so the permian rock there's a lot of permian so if you want to see permian rock you can probably go up this road and see if there is any deposits so you might be able to see uh, what permian rock that is but where I got the slate was in this area. I've got numerous audits. Audits are access to uh, mine shafts. I didn't see any mine shafts. I just saw pretty much shallow holes in the ground. So a lot of them have been filled in. And here we have an X. So if we... So we want to look at the X. So we want to look at the X. We want to look at what type of rocks the P and the O are and the QRA. So, so here we have the Ordovician, so we've got slate and shale. So the slate would be the metamorphic equivalent of the shale. Uh, siltstone, sandstone, uh, interbedded sequence turbidic character. So it's the sandstone, so turbidites. Highly folded. So this rock was pretty much in... A 90 percent 90 degree compared to the ground level so it's very folded rock and that's definitely why you have the slate uh, there's a lot of pressure I didn't see any rock that was uh, pretty much in line with uh, the ground level Okay, contains graptolite assemblages of Lansfieldian Darwinian ages, spotted slate, horn fells. So that's just metamorphosed uh, sandstone and upper sedimentary rocks, in metamorphic aureoles on granite intrusions. So that means it's like a you got the granite intrusion, you got the rock there. And then you have a metamorphic phase. So more metamorphism here, less here. And this is an uh, aureole, okay. Oh. 
So that's what that is. And here you have sedimentary rock. And this you have a uh, granite. So that's what an aureole is. And if we go up to the P, Permian, so we've got tillite, sandstone, pebbly, sandstone, mudstone, pebbly, mudstone. So pebbles, you know, something rounded like that. So being rounded by the actual glacier. And this one might have been a tillite at one time. It's been washed down. Uh, but I doubt it very much because there's just so much of it. Okay, it shows thin depressional faulting, soft sediment faulting, and sedimentary dikes. And there's a lot of other information. And this also contains fossils. So you've got plant fossils of glossop terrace, so a plant flora, and marine brachiopods. So that's from the Permian age. And you're more, probably more likely to find that in the sandstone. And the tillites will probably be a lot really damaged. Okay, so that pit is S and G. So what's it mining is sand and gravels. So no, it's probably more likely for uh, gardening purposes. So people like to put these type of rocks in their garden so it looks nice. I have a heap of quartz rounded rocks in my front yard. And uh, you can see there's a lot of other different types of rocks. They do uh, mine around the area. Okay, so what I want to do is just break these rocks and see what Break a little bit off. Oh, there you go. Breaking off. And what we see here is pretty much uh, sandstone. So this would come from the area that's upriver. I didn't see any sandstone deposits in the Medi area where I come from. Um, so to look up the sandstone, you have to go up the uh, river a lot further. So what we want to do is try and see if we can crack along this plane somewhere and see if we can see graptolite. So you can see this looks like a line of weakness in the actual rock. So this is more breakable. It's a lot softer. Oh, there you go. I've broken it in half already. So then we open it up. And you can see that there's nothing. So that is a pity. And here we've got some discoloration because it, it was fractured already. So let's see if we can do another one. Okay, you can see how it does break apart in sheets. So that's the actual layering of the, the rock. And it's very fascinating. So, oh. okay. I've never actually found any graptolites in, oh, in the environment. And we have a look at the flakes coming off. No. So, uh, we'd see a graptolite, it'll probably be long and it'll probably have be something like that. So, that is a pity. Let's just try some more. Oh no. It's just going to continue to break it into different sheets like that. I should have got a thicker piece of rock. No, see, 
this is pretty much what's just going to happen. So, let's just try... Okay, so what I'm trying to do is just... Bit. So there's no grapple lights in this rock, so I would have probably had to have gone upstream to the actual locality. So this is why you need a proper. All I've got is this hammer. I need to get another just piece of equipment. Go to Bunnings and uh, see if we can. Go up and get some more of this material and see if we can find some graptolites. But it's very interesting. So, then we've got quartz. Break it. And it looks like it does have mineralization in the actual rock. So you can probably look for gold where the mineralization that has uh, been a lot. Uh, there's a lot more mineralization anyway. So that's a, a good indication. It's not just totally white or totally uh, clearish type of white. So that is what you can do when you're out in the geological field. Uh, let's have a look at this rock. it like that looks pretty thick you can still see the laminations on the actual rock so yeah this I'd probably just leave in the garden it's not really worth keeping and so that's what I like to do I like to go through these rocks and see if they contain any fossils. But in this case, ah oh well, what a pity. Maybe I'll just I'll keep those as samples. These three as samples. And the rest I'll just throw in the bloody garden. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And next time I do a video, it will be on geology once again. Thank you and goodbye.